Razer hardware has some of the craziest software installs I've ever seen uh, from your basic straight up malware crypto miners that they could install. I think they've removed this since all the backlash, but the base synapsis install will pop up during installing Windows. I've seen that. That's kind of insane. Uh, I have these devices that I've been tinkering with and blocking some of their installers. Uh, I just want to say, just as a PSA, first off, you need to basically never install their software. The second thing, I want to get on the desktop and teach you how to block their software and alternative softwares we can use to control that RGB, that sweet, sweet RGB that makes our computer faster. So let's get over there and try it out. So the first thing on our desktop is what happens and how does Razer install their software? Because it's pretty aggressive on its installation practices. Well, the first thing is we can see the install directory under Windows, and then it's a hidden directory. Now, if you look at the directory here, it's not here, but we can manually type in installer. This is where a lot of installers reside. And if we look here, we can see we have a Razer installer. If we click it, it's gonna actually pull up the Razer Synapse and, and want to install their software package. So this is the actual Razer software that can get installed. I mean, wow, this is ridiculous. If you installed all of this, you're looking at just massive amounts of one, disk space, processes, services, I mean, we're, we're looking almost upwards of a gig here that you'd lose, not to mention all the running processes, because all these are agents that would run in our task tray, which I obviously try to uh, keep the task tray pretty clean on this system. So obviously we don't wanna do this, and if you have done it, just uninstall it. Now, if you've uninstalled it and you just keep getting this prompt, this installer that keeps popping up, how do we get rid of that? Now, there's a couple different ways to go about doing it. And depending on how aggressive Razer gets with this, we can ratchet this back and basically gimp them to where they can't install anything on the system. So the first way is like the official way to basically make no manufacturer install stuff on your system. From a start run command, we're just going to go sysdm.cpl. This is an old system way, but everything in Windows. It's Windows is the oldest operating system in existence. So this has been around since about 2000. And there's a good section in here called device installation settings. We can click that. Now I made a little script that always turns this off because I never want manufacturer manufacturers dictating the apps and other things available on my device. I only want to select those drivers and the software that gets installed myself. So I always hit no to this. You'll be able to select it. By default, it's always on yes. This will launch the Razer installer when you plug in a Razer device if it is on yes. So that's the first thing you can disable. But let's say Razer gets around this or they want to <laughs> go full malware mode and, and try to install it even with this on no. Well, I created a little script to basically kill this. Now, I've been getting a lot of messages and as my other scripts become more popular, there's scripts, which means I don't install anything on your system. People are like, hey, how do I uh, install or uninstall your stuff? I'm like, no, not having running processes is always my goal. So I don't want you to install anything. These are basic scripts to rip things out. and. I'll break down every line of this script because it's pretty basic. So right here is the script. Now I made a little one click command to where you could just copy this. And if we launch a terminal as admin or PowerShell as admin, if you're on Windows 10, we just type that in. And what this goes and does is it deletes the Razor directory in Windows, and then it recreates the Windows directory. One thing most people don't know about me is I was a Windows Server admin. I have all over 11 different professional certifications and about 20 years of experience with Windows Server. And I can do some really funky stuff with Windows. The first thing I did here is I set the ACL or the access control list to basically allow the system not to write to it, which means if you go in here or the system tries to install something or download something to this folder, it's gonna deny it access. <laughs> So this Razer folder, as soon as Razer tries to download something to it, the system's just going to be like, I'm sorry, I don't have the ability to write to it. So that's what I, that script does is it creates, it deletes everything in the folder, recreates the folder, and then it strips out the system 
properties if you go into security but if you look at the system level there's something that we I added a little extra here and you might be thinking well here's all the inherited gray permissions there's also this really specific deny permission to the write privilege. And that's what I did from a system level so the system itself can't write to this folder. Now, if you want to, you can drag and drop files into here, or if you want to revert this and install Razer devices, you can simply just right click and delete the folder and allow Razer to reinstall and recreate this folder. But Razer can't go in and delete this. The system can't go in and delete this and they can't add anything to it. And this time, instead of running it, we're just gonna print out the script. We're removing the item Razer path. We're adding Razer path back in as a directory. I'm setting ACL permissions. That's what this does. And then setting the access rule. And then that's it. That's, that's all we're doing here. Very basic script, but one I, I just couldn't find anywhere, so I went ahead and created it. Now you're going, okay, I need to control my lights. That's the next thing, because fancy lights make things go faster. Look at look at my system over here. That's a, that's a fancy light. I want to control that. Well, you can go into your like motherboard. You can do mice. You can do all kinds of stuff. OpenRGB.org. This is an open executable, and you can set and configure all your stuff from it and it's not going to blow it up your whole system it's completely open source as well so there's no negative things about this the only thing i say is check the supported devices obviously for like mice this is pretty easy you can go through and go hey does it have save to flash that that's basically saving it on the device itself do you have to run it in the background and constantly be setting it hopefully not save to flash is really nice you can see razor actually has a pretty good configuration because they're so popular that open rg B supports a lot of Razer components, which is great. So when you click on Razer, you can see it has like Black Widow support, Sinosa support, Huntsman support, all these different versions of it. And I think some of the latest 2022 designs, uh, you might be SOL, but uh, anything a little bit older, usually they are have in here. So hopefully your system's not too new and you just ran out and bought a brand new Razer device. But even if you did, chances are this will work. So let me know. What, what device do you use to control your stuff? Have you ever heard of this? Did you know that Razer Synapse had so many services and processes? All this is bad. Let me know in the comments. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.